Okay guys and welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and this is the third one in the series on the track pads. So in the previous two you would have seen where I um, got these from the track pads all the way through to they are now. So from removing the glue off them first to getting them to where they are now without any um, solder mask on it. So again we see the solder mask like that and things. So, I say I wanted to show people um, essentially how it works and the process. So the next part is going to be the copper chloride, of course. So I have my copper chloride running outside and we're going to do it with the bubbler. And we're going to just add these to it. And I'm also going to throw this one in with it, the one with the green solder mask still on it. Because I want to show us why by having the solder mask, you're going to miss out on getting the gold. Because usually the... the um, Copper chloride can't penetrate this solder mask. Um, now I have the glue removed from this one. So I'm hoping that um, there's still a little bit of glue there. So you might even see where there's some of the glue is left. That may be an issue for it even getting the gold off. So we'll see. And um, and then afterwards we'll throw in the actual copper ones with just a little bit of gold. So some of them have trace amounts of gold, some of them have no gold. So this one for instance is completely void of any um gold whatsoever and these ones then have little patches of gold here and a little gold trim around so let's go out and add this to the copper chloride and then we'll um let that run for a couple of days and we'll come back and we'll see how it's getting on and then we'll just add after we filter it out we'll just add these once again so i haven't removed the um the solid mass from that one either because again, there was not much point when it's copper um, mainly and um, I wasn't going to waste any time scrubbing off even the likes of that one. Again, because it was mainly just copper, a little bit of gold on here, but um, other than that, it wasn't worth the time. So let's go out, get these added to the copper chloride and let's see how things progress. So, so here we are, we have the copper chloride working away, bubbling away, and all I'm just going to do is drop these in simple as that we'll just drop them in i'm leaving them with the bits on them that'll probably fall off with the hydrochloric acid they'll probably eat them off anyhow and let them fall down it's just a bit more of a pain for filtering but so what we'll work it out so yeah, just gonna add them in just all over the place yeah you probably see a few little gold flakes fl floating around there. They were from a previous one, um, so I hadn't fully mm -hmm. filtered. I thought I'd filtered, but I always say I always re-throw back in the chloride afterwards. And um, there was a few little bits left, so they are just showing up from that. So again, everything in. So that's it. We're going to let that work away. And um, we'll come back in a few days and see what we've got. So check back in a few days. Well, for you guys, it's instant. So you'll be able to see straight away. You won't have to wait in a few days. So let's move on and see what it was like. Okay, guys, so it's been uh, 24 hours, roughly, since I put these in. So we'll take off the cover and we'll have a look and see. So as you can see, well, what I'll do is I'll turn off the bubbler first. As you can see, we have gold floating around. You can see it all floating around this area. So we'll have a look and see. So this fairly well gone. As you can see, there's just the copper left there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just remove this hose first. You can see the, its color of it is fairly poor. It's not like bright gold or anything like that. It's like a brownie, coppery sort of stuff. So it's very, very poor quality, but it's all, I suppose, lead up in the end. Um, so let me get my jug and we'll just start by taking some of it out. 
just going to be poured in here same as I would just like any other gold just that I've made sure I've put cotton wool in the bottom of the filter because we don't sorry about the breeze as well it's very breezy here today um, so I'm going to filter that all out so you don't need to see me doing that and um, we'll come back once I've that all filtered out so let's see how we got on when this is all filtered out now guys while I'm waiting for that to filter I thought I'd give you a look at these um, actual boards that are done so well they're semi done some of them are, are completely done some are semi done so you can see there still a little bit of trace gold but you can see how the color has changed to that like copper color so it's like a really really poor quality gold that's on them you can see there again it's more a coppery color now than it is an actual gold once the acid starts to work on it so it's telling me there's a lot now so this is the one I wanted to really show you is this one as you can see it's perfect still acid hasn't touched it and on the far side on the green solder mask the acid has affected here but hasn't really taken much off there you can see a bit of solder taken off so this is the one that I wanted to put in to show you that what happens if you put in without taking off the green solder mask it, the, the um, acid can't penetrate as quick so it takes longer to get under and also on this side I didn't clean the glue off here so again by not cleaning the glue off it means that the acid hasn't been able to get to work on that yet so that's um, why I do remove the glue first and then remove the solder mask and then I um, I um, put it into the acid and hopefully get the the gold back so you can see the difference like between them so from that to that because of the green solder mask and the glue so the green solder mask on this side these are both the same um, more or less same same idea same same sort of board um, so it's like the green solder mask you can see there even where the bits of green that I didn't get off the board on this one they're still there because the acid hasn't got to work on them um, and then on this other side where the glue was you can still see that um, the difference that it has made so as I said the quality of gold is very very poor um, I brought these in so I can wash off any remaining gold off it and hopefully then filter that as well so let's um, jump forward and see how the filtration went and what did we end up with and um, well, I'm not sure even will I I'll just take off my gloves for a minute um, I'm not sure even will that gold make it in with this stuff because it's pretty low grade stuff this will be a bit higher grade but we'll see um, we, we might might throw it all in and um, it'll be because it's, it's more coppery than gold but we'll have a look and see so um, check back that's what well, not check back I'll have to go now and finish filtering and you'll get to see it straight away so by the magic of the transition we'll go from here to the film filtered product okay guys so uh, usually now I'd be um, have the have a show you the dried out filter and uh, we'd have our gold and we'd be um, br brushing it off and putting anything but I've decided to do something different I'm not going to add this to this straight away what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this in a future video that's coming up um, and it's perfect for what i want to do and um hopefully because it's it's such a low quality of gold it's um it's engineered gold as i said already and um i'll just take out this filter if i can without skying it everywhere so that's the filter I can open it out a bit so you can see it's very very low quality gold and also as I said I did put a bit of cotton wool in this one because I had a feeling that with the gold being so fine that some of it would get through the filters so we'll just take him out as well so you can see very 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 fine gold um not really worth much uh but this will be used in a future video which is upcoming and um it should 
work exactly for what I want to do it if I don't keep turning it upside down and plowing the gold into it. But um, so that bit of cotton wool there's nothing on it, so I don't need that. But um, it it should work for what I want to do in a future video. So I'm actually finishing the video up there now, but it just shows you that you can get gold off these um these track pads from the laptops. Uh, it's very, very, it's like more coppery color gold than actual gold. Uh, but it's gold, engineered gold, whatever way you want to call it. But it's it's a very low carat gold, but it's still got a little bit of gold in it. So that will be used in a future video um, that's upcoming. So keep an eye out for that video. I don't know when it'll be coming, but it will be coming. Um, hopefully not too far behind this one. But uh, until then, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, really would appreciate that. And if you are already a subscriber, thanks for coming back again and thanks for checking out my videos. And um, catch you on the next one, guys. Keep looking for that gold.